Hello everyone, RaptorX here, and uh, today we're going to be making some uh, combustion engines to turn some of that fuel we made last episode into some uh, useful energy. Now let's get started. Now before I start, I want to show you guys um, what we did with some of the fuel. Uh, yes, yeah, some still actually being processed right now. And uh, yeah, we pretty much had these tanks, and I made them, uh, you know, larger, but going underground and uh, going like I believe it's like five or six blocks down and uh, yeah filling them up all the way to the brim we have quite a bit of fuel and uh, I also set up this lever right there right here that goes down to four redstone engines that's been that's pumping out the fuel into our engine room that I mentioned I was gonna make last episode so let's take a look at that inside now the pipe comes down from uh, below like I mentioned into where our combustion engine is going to be set. It's going to be set up. I also set up a red alloy wire, which is going to power the combustion engines, and uh, have two three by three water sources, and some more empty tanks, which is where the water is going to be stored. Now I've tried in uh, previous occasions to power the, I mean, cool the combustion engines directly from the pump, but for some reason it, the the water source glitches out and. Uh, and it dries up, so the combu the pretty much the pump is no longer pumping water, and the uh, combustion engines heat up quite quickly and uh, blow up. So I found to avoid that, it's best to uh, pump the water directly into a water tank, and then pump the water from the water tank to the combustion engines, and that's what we're gonna do today. So I already have everything set up here. the The pump is the same one is the same type of pump that we used on the on the last episode for the oil. Uh, and yeah, uh, now the combustion engines already made them. They're pretty much like the redstone engines, but instead of uh, using wood, we use uh, iron. Uh, I'll show you the recipe real quick here. There you go. So yeah, just iron gears and uh, iron ingots on top. Everything else is the same. Just a regular piston with glass on top of it. Uh, it's not very complicated at all to make. Now we're going to set them up here. So we know where we're pumping the water to. Now, as you can tell, it immediately connects from the bottom, and it's immediately pumping all the fuel into that engine. Now, it's going to pump it until it's completely to up up to the brim, and it's going to keep it full for as long as, uh, as it's powered. So, we're going to set these up right here, and we have eight engines. There you go. Now, let me make sure that... I wonder... I wonder if that worked. Okay, I guess we'll have to test that out soon. It should be powered with the redstone signal, but uh, for some reason, the, since we don't have the gold conductive pipe on top, it is not uh, it is not powering. That's fine. We'll test that out later. Now we want to make sure we put some uh, a block underneath so we can put the pump on top of. Take that off. There you go. And we'll put some redstone engines all around it. There you go. And the same for this side. Now, there is still a, re a risk of uh, combustion engines blowing up, especially since if the chunks get unloaded and the pumps stop working uh, for some reason. So y it's best to always keep an eye on it, kind of like a nuclear reactor. But uh, even though it, if you have a, the most you know, efficient setup, it's still a risk of it not working properly. So yeah, it's try to make it the safest possible but make sure you know not to leave it running for forever and never look at it and make sure that the pumps are f working and the tanks are full because uh, that's what I'm going to do first before I, I start the engines I want to make sure that these tanks are full so in the event that something happens to these engines and they're not getting water or the pumps stop, uh, stop working because it glitches out we still have a reserve of water here so let's get some uh this is what uh, wouldn't work. No, we don't need that. We need uh, let's do some cobblestone and some stone here. Let's go one step higher. Actually, I want to take it all the way up. I'm running across here into there. I'm gonna do the same here for this one. There you go. And that should work. Now we're gonna set it up with some uh. Oh, come on, some wooden planks here. This will power the 
I'll put a lever on this and this will work with the with both engines are connected to the block so let's put a there you go lever there you go same for this side oh let's click and same over here some more levers now let's power these on now like I mentioned the, the, the advanced uh, pipes episode I believe it was uh, you can leave these redstone engines running forever nothing will happen so just uh, the more they heat up the more they'll pump so that's why I want to make sure that they're at maximum efficiency before we start up the engines because we want to make sure that the water is completely full all the time now there you go we see the water coming up it takes a little while to start but uh, it will quickly start filling up this water tank so what we want to do now is start setting up the the pumping system that's going to be taking the water out of the tanks now we need some uh, wooden here you go actually I don't need this for now so yeah let's put a wooden wooden waterproof pipe some more redstone engines all around it there you go and the same for this side there you go now we want to make sure we power all these we're going to do that with this there you go and uh, same for this side take those out, we don't need those so we're going to put a lever here, 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 and that will power pretty much all of them except this one. So we put another one there and there. Now, I'm not going to power them yet, obviously, but uh, we're going to make sure that the tank is all the way full. We've actually, here, I overlooked something. We have to get the pipe out of here, so that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is take this off. Put the bustle back down. I'll put the lever here. Do the same for this side. So th otherwise, the the lever is going to be in the way of the pipe, and that wouldn't work. Now let's take some uh, stone. Uh, we, you could use stone or cobblestone; it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to use a different color from the input to the output. Just a aesthetics mainly. And we're gonna go straight out. Actually, I wanna yeah, that's fine. Take it here. Power these two. This one needs to be connected through here. There you go. There you go. So we want to do like a, I guess like a branch out into the engines. Actually, I'm gonna just do this. Work just fine, and do the same thing with this side. So we go out one, branch out, all the way across. Whoop! We don't want to do that. Here you go, and the same for that side, the last one. So they're all connected right now to the water tanks. Now I want to see at what point there's a, uh, you can s slowly see it's filling up. So what I'm going to do now is pretty much, I guess, wait, cut off until they're completely full and then power the these redstone engines until the, the all the engines are full. I'm going to quickly check. Yeah, see all the engines are completely full with fuel because uh, while I was building this, the engines were being pumped from the bottom and yeah let's I'm gonna cut off here and wait until the, the those tanks fill up all right now we're back um, the tanks are still not all the way full but they're almost there as you can see the water levels already up here but the the engines the redstone engines are back to green so that means they're a lot more efficient so it's just a matter of time before they finish filling up didn't want to wait any longer now, what we have to do here now is set up the 
the pipe that all this energy is going to be uh, connected to. Now to do that, all we have to do is pretty much have to put a wooden, which is what I got while the I was off camera, some wooden conductive pipe. And to do that, just make a wooden pipe and put a redstone on top, and a, yeah, like kind of like the waterproofing, the same deal. And then between, I'm gonna use a golden conductive. That's mainly so we don't lose any power between the. Well, we do lose a little bit of power, but it's like 0 0.01 per block. And uh, I mean, this is only like 16 blocks uh, long, so we wouldn't have any problem with the with the energy loss really. Now. I'm going to alternate between these two all the way to the end and then we're going to set up a uh, teleport pipe which we're going to be using to power the quarries actually <coughs> so let's finish this up if I can manage to click properly and there you go now I'm going to put the last one there Stepped on the pressure plate, and I have to disable the my ring here, so also uh, my client will crash. And I'm gonna check outside, see what the uh, the frequency is. All right, 21 is the current frequency for the quarries. My my two big quarries are running out here. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. These are my massive quarries. There's a uh, already got two finished here, and uh, well, the chunks load. And she's the wind noise is insane. Alright, these are my other two quarries. These are all, all both 64 by 64. God, it's so glitchy. Come on, load the chunks. There you go. Alright, so yeah, th these two quarries are 64 by 64. And I mean, they're both going at pretty decent speed. I know it's not suggested to do uh, 60 max size quarries because uh, they're too slow but I honestly couldn't be bothered to move these every five minutes pretty much because they were going so quick at the uh, smaller sizes so I just you know been doing the max size two of them at the same time teleport pipes and uh, have a world anchor there for uh, the chunks to be loaded while I'm not logged in so yeah now what we're going to do with those combustion engines is going to be running those two cores over there pretty much. And uh, those two are powered by this array of uh, high voltage solar panels. That goes into our MFSU, into our old base here. So what we're going to do here is just change the frequency, put this uh, 22, and then make this uh, kind of like a backup power for our cores. Now, the core is probably going to run for a little bit because they still have a little bit of power but uh, they'll shut down eventually and I'm hoping to have this running by then so let's connect this to 21 there you go and as soon as I power this with the, the lever here it's going to start pumping energy into our quarries now yep yeah, there you go the water is almost all the way up I'm just going to turn this on so that at least it start hit heating up all these levers I'm sure you could probably set up a more efficient method with uh, some red alloy wires and have one lever for all the engines but uh, I mean pretty much I could, I could have just pretty much red, redstone torches here to be honest I mean, I'm gonna have them running 24-7 pretty much and uh, yeah so as you can tell the the water level is actually going down a little bit and that's because uh, all the all the engines are empty and there you go I mean they're almost one third already some uh, a little bit more now the reason I'm using four redstone engines is because um, w when the redstone goes up and, and back that's a uh, that's a cycle now let's say we get one block of water per cycle each one does one block of water per, per cycle so in one cycle we're getting four blocks of water going through our engines and uh, and yeah here these are already uh, yellow and uh, yeah pretty much what we want to do is have these yellow as well ideally before we turn these on but uh, I mean they're already full most of them actually just one of them that one's not even getting water because all the water is being taken in by these and that's what we want to avoid we want to make sure that these engines are 
pumping enough water to have all four of them full all the time. So that's why I don't want to turn these on until the water it's completely up to the top. See, and they're going up and down the water levels because those are already green. I mean, I'm sorry, yellow. These are blue, so they're not pumping out as much. But once these fill up, and this could be yellow, and the water level should maintain all the way up. It shouldn't go down. I guess uh, the easier way to put it is just uh, the consumption of the cooling is not as quick as the the pumping that we're doing. <laughs> if that makes any sense, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. But uh, but yeah, this uh, wait a little wait a bit longer. I mean, these this one's full, so it shouldn't be getting any more water. That one's full. That one's full. So see, all the water's coming into this one now, and that one quickly filled up. There you go. You can see how quickly it fills up. So it's just a matter of having all of them to the brim. Now let's check on these. These are all full as well. Turned on the engines at the same time pretty much. And we're ready to turn, turn on the engines. Now, we, we should be able to see a blue line if it's working. That's uh, the power. So let's try it out. And there you go. That, <laughs> there we have it, the blue line. And uh, you can see that uh, it changes width of the, of the blue line. And that's fine until these hit heat up, like uh, like the rest of the engines. They need to heat up, but the color you don't want them getting yellow. I mean, when they're yellow, it means they're heating, and you don't want them to heat. You want them to stay at a at a cool green. That means they're working at a good efficiency, but they're getting the proper amount of uh, cooling, so they won't heat up. Now uh, you can see the the fuel level goes slightly down and fills back up because we have a uh, all the fuel coming in from the bottom. And we should see this fill filling up, even though the engines are on, and that's what we want to see. So you always want to make sure the the furthest one from the from the pipe that's the one that you have to worry about first, because that one's the most likely to run out of cooling first if the the engines are not working properly or not as good as it's supposed to. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're full of water. The fuel goes down slightly, but then gets filled up right away. And that's pretty much it. I mean, now I'm going to go over there, check the the quarries real quick again. And uh, make sure they're running now. They should be running since we have, uh, you can tell the blue line what's going through. So that means energy is going through. It's getting dark. And yeah, I mean, you can see the the crane I guess you can call it moving along the line just at the same speed I mean I mean th those eight combustion engines I'm not sure really the, the output I can look it up but uh I mean you can run two cores at maximum speed pretty much 64 by 64 with just eight combustion engines it's just a matter of getting the setup properly and I mean I have so, so many resources I don't know what to do with so that's why I have the the so many high voltage uh, solar arrays and uh, that's my EMC tower, that's what I call it. That's where I have my uh, my dark matter generators and I'll show you guys that in a later episode. But yeah, I mean, I couldn't really, I don't really need all this power. But it, it's nice for to put all that fuel to good use. I mean, because I have so much, it's just a waste having them just sit there. Now these are green. They should turn green soon. And uh, the water towers are full. And that's what we want to see. Let's check the, the outside ones real quick. Okay, still full of water. And this is still full of water. Now, once these turn yellow, and this these turn green now. These turn yellow, I mean, it is very unlikely that you're going to run out of water. Especially since it wasn't running out of water when it was a, a blue. It's just not gonna happen. What you do want to make sure is that the pumps don't dry up because of the that water glitch. I'm not even sure why it happens in the first place, but yeah, I've, I've tried making it deeper, and what it does, it just goes down a level, and it makes it worse because then the 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 little tube that comes down from the pump has to go down a further level, and it just takes longer, and it just runs out of water so much quicker if you have it, you know, a couple blocks down. If I find out that uh, just having one block deep is actually better. 
so yeah I mean these are working I just want to make sure I wish it would turn a different color and that's the color you want to have them at now they will turn yellow if they're starting to overheat they're not getting enough water then they'll turn orange and that's when you 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 want to turn the switch off you just want to turn it off because it's I don't, I don't remember exactly the time things like a minute or two before it blows up now these have created a pretty nasty explosion I mean it will probably take off half our walls most of the pipes and you just have to pretty much rebuild from scratch because uh, the damage is pretty pretty intense um, here we go we have these green and that's the temperature you want the the color you want to see them at always green and uh, hopefully these will turn green soon and yeah I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm wasting some power here I could probably make a uh, what is it called then uh, forgot the gen the name but it's pretty much a, a block that converts it to the, the, the build craft power I believe it's called and uh, and yeah I mean put save in uh, MFSU or s some sort but couldn't really care less for the power waste but uh, I mean if you have enough quarries and uh, pumps running off of this it, it will be just fine so yeah if you have any as always if you have any questions or uh, suggestions leave a comment down below and uh, if you like the video uh, remember to like and subscribe bye